Welcome to another episode of Gumchus Gizmos, but before we get into the episode, I just want to make a quick announcement that I am going to be giving away my Google Cardboard. This thing I've had in so many of my videos that I've made with uh, padding, with Velcro strapping, I'm going to be giving this sucker away to one of you for free, but more details about that later on in the video. But for now, back to regular skin. I literally just dropped it in the trash can. Well, the value of that just went down. Good thing I'm giving it away for free. <laughs> anyway, back to your regularly scheduled Gumptus Gizmos. Welcome to another episode of Gumptus Gizmos, where today's video is inspired by a comment from a guy named Lachi on one of my previous videos that says, You've done DIY VR and HoloLens, so why not make a video where you show how to make a Google Cardboard out of plastic so it's stronger and add a strap and cushioning? Then show how to connect it to PC and use it with PC games, so basically a DIY Oculus Rift. And maybe show how to make some Vive Lite controllers? Now when I first read this comment I thought that is such a great idea for a video, I mean everyone loves virtual reality, or if you're watching this you probably really like virtual reality, but not everyone has the budget to buy this very expensive Oculus Rift or all of these new headsets coming out, so what if you could create a more professional-esque headset that you can play actual virtual reality games other than just apps on your phone. And you can, but first in regards to making it out of plastic. Now if you want to go the extra mile to make it out of plastic, I suggest you might as well just buy one of the cheap headsets. Like this last Christmas, my sibling surprised me with this bad boy, the VR ShineCon. Now it was $30, but it's not just a fancy thing made of plastic. It does have the cushioning and straps, but also... Hold on, I want to see if my eyes look really huge. Do, do they look huge? I don't know. But also you can adjust the lenses, so you can see clearly. And also the lenses are a lot larger, so there's greater image quality. So you can make it out of plastic if you want, but still, if you're going for quality, I'd go for one of the cheaper bad boys like this. Anyway, in regards to the last part of this comment was making Vive Lite controllers. Now, I was really interested in that. Now, if you don't know what the HTC Vive is, it's different than the Oculus Rift or Google Cardboard, and it's a much more immersive virtual reality. Uh, how do I explain this? The Vive comes with controllers that you have in your hands so you can interact with objects more, whereas the Google Cardboard, you have a button on the headset, or in the Oculus Rift, you have either a controller or buttons on a keyboard. In this way, you're almost actually touching the objects, and the great pull for the Vive is that you can actually move around. Not just look 360 degrees, but you can move left and right, up, down, back and forth. You can turn around, look beside things. And this works by cameras that are placed around the room that track your headset and the controllers, know where they are in space, and be able to give you this immersive virtual reality. And I actually tried this. This last Christmas break, my brother took me to the mall where there was like this Virtual Reality Arcade. Ah, oh, that sounds so cool. And for five bucks, I had a five minute experience with it. And it was so freaking cool. Uh, just, just take a look. As soon as I got out of that thing, I really wanted to try it again, but see if I could do it from a more DIY perspective. 
But I mean, it's not like you can make cardboard controllers for Google Cardboard, can you? <laughs> yes. Actually, I've done it before in one of my videos. Realiteer is a company that makes this, or at least has instructions online to make a DIY version. Now, let me show you a clip of the video that I did make explaining it. What it does, essentially, I won't get too much into it, but the camera on um, the camera on the iPhone and the Google Cardboard can look at the image on the little cardboard paper picture that you have there, and then in the game can track accordingly to where your hand is. So there's a Vive-like controller that you can have for the Google Cardboard, but it doesn't let you, like, move around and look around and duck under things like the actual HTC Vive can. So I thought, what if I bumped it up a notch? What if I added another tracker that I put on a wall that wasn't connected to me, that that tracker would signify that's where a wall or where the environment would be? So I made a quick little version that isn't an actual fully functioned game, and it's a little glitchy, but with some fine tuning, I think it could be really immersive and really cheap. But there is a problem with all of this. To get this to work, you have to make a game surrounded up around these cardboard controllers and these trackers on the walls. But the comment that Lachi, Lachi sent was that he wanted to play VR games that are already on Steam or on, on, on PC. So <laughs> is it even possible that you can, with your Google Cardboard, play actual virtual reality games? <laughs> yes. And I've actually done this before on my channel as well. It's called Kinoni Streamer, which lets you play any 3D game in virtual reality. So let me show you a clip of where I explain that in a later video as well. And Kino VR is an app you get on your phone and also a software you download on your PC so that when you open up a game, you just turn on the app, then everything automatically sets itself. Uh, the phone will calibrate itself so it will uh, show you that game in the Google Cardboard, the split screen, and the panorama, and all that that you need. And it's really awesome. But there still is a fundamental problem with this. With a Kinoni streamer, you can play any 3D game in virtual reality, but you can't play any virtual reality games. You can't just start playing a HTC Vive game on your PC and then expect everything to work out. So it seems that there are all these obstacles, and as I researched more and more, I just couldn't find a way to play Vive games on your Google Cardboard until now. But that will have to wait until the next video, the part two of this virtual reality series, and I think you're really gonna like it. Now, on to me giving away my Google Cardboard, which has been in my family for generations. Just kidding, I made it myself, I bought it, added some fabric and a uh, little, you know, googly eyes there, and I think it is really awesome, and what else is awesome is we have just surpassed our 700th subscriber benchmark. Hallelujah. And I really think it'd be cool is if we could, just if, if it's possible we could get to 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving this guy away to one lucky commenter and subscriber as well as, as some of those cardboard controllers mentioned earlier in this video. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Tell your friends about it. Every single human being you can would be nice. Or just one person, you know. Anything helps. But uh, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.